What if you're told that the 10th brightest star in the sky has just exploded? Over the years, the cosmic world has been faced with the explosion of its entities. These explosions have raised concerns about the possible causes of the death of stars that beautify our skies. Recently, the giant red Betelgeuse was seen emitting an unusually brilliant light, indicating the beginning of this star's end in the Milky Way galaxy. What is happening to these stars? What revelation did Neil deGrasse Tyson reveal about the Betelgeuse explosion? Keep watching to find out. Betelgeuse is a red giant star in the Orion constellation. Astrologers say it usually shines as the tenth brightest star in the night sky but sometimes shines even brighter, taking the second or first place among stars in Orion. Betelgeuse is a celestial gem seen in the night sky for nearly all of Earth's inhabitants. Its striking orange-red hue and place within the Orion constellation make it one of the easiest stars to identify. Suppose you want a better view of this celestial wonder. In that case, you can always look out for it in December since the Orion constellation becomes visible from almost every inhabited region on Earth during this period. When we look at the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse shines as a radiant beacon on the upper left shoulder of this celestial orbit. Its fiery hue sets it apart, making it stand out in the night sky. Betelgeuse ranks as one of the largest stars seen with the naked eye and typically claims the tenth brightest position among the stars that shines at night. Betelgeuse lies at a distance of approximately 650 light years from our planet. Locating Betelgeuse at night with the stars within the Orion constellation can lead to Betelgeuse's brilliant glow. Look out for three stars lying nearly vertical in the night sky from the northern hemisphere for easy location. What's cool about the Betelgeuse is that it doesn't always keep the same brightness. Sometimes it's very bright, like when it's plus 0.0 or plus 1.6 in brightness, which is the most it can shine for a bright star. This is where it gets interesting. Sometime in 2019, something interesting happened to Betelgeuse. This gigantic red star became much dimmer for a while because it emitted a bunch of gas, turning into dust when it got colder. However, this has raised questions as to whether the Betelgeuse is about to supernova. Supernovas are intense and brilliant star explosions in the final stages of a star's life. The first recorded supernova in history, SN185, was a remarkable celestial event witnessed by Chinese astronomers. In 185 AD, Chinese astronomers made a historic observation when they noticed an incredibly bright and unfamiliar light in the night sky. They called it a guest star due to its sudden and brilliant appearance. The origin of this intense brightness was traced back to a star situated approximately 8,000 light years away from Earth. This star, located between the constellations of Circinus and Centaurus, underwent a cataclysmic explosion, transforming into what we now know as a supernova. The guest star created by this supernova explosion remained brilliantly visible for eight months before gradually fading from the naked eye's view. This extended visibility period allowed astronomers to closely observe and document the celestial event. Besides from the discovery of SN185, many other supernovae have been detected in our galaxy, like the SN1006 originating in the southern constellation Lupus. Over time, scientists have made significant advancements in comprehending the behavior of supernovae. They have successfully developed models to explain the intricate processes occurring during these cosmic eruptions. Moreover, the role of supernovae in forming new stars and their impact on the evolution of galaxies has become increasingly clear. These explosive events can momentarily surpass the brightness of entire galaxies and emit more energy than the Sun will in its entire existence. A recent example of a visible supernova was SN1987A, resulting from the detonation of a blue supergiant star in the Large Magellanic Cloud. Scientists classify supernovas into two primary types, thermonuclear runaway and core collapse. The latter variety occurs in the end phase of massive stars, typically those at least eight times larger than our Sun, like the Betelgeuse. As these massive stars lose pressure, gravity swiftly takes control, causing them to collapse within seconds. This collapse triggers the powerful explosion known as a supernova. To detect these supernovas, astrologers use different techniques and tools like the Gaia telescope, which creates a very detailed 3D map of the Milky Way by measuring stars very carefully. Then there are the sky surveys, where a sky map is created in red, 
and the ultimate neutrino detectors. How does a supernova work? During a supernova, lots of things happen. A star explosion journey often begins when a massive star approaches the end of its life cycle. After consuming its nuclear fuel, this aging star starts to cool down. As it cools, the force pushing outward begins to weaken. When this outward pressure diminishes to a critical point, gravity happens. In a swift moment, the star's core collapses under gravitational pressure. This core collapse marks the initial act that triggers the impending supernova explosion. Following the core's dramatic collapse, a monumental explosion ensues. The collapsing core generates a powerful shockwave that violently dismantles the star, leading to the spectacle known as a supernova. This explosion releases an astounding amount of energy, catapulting shockwaves and fragments of the star into the cosmos. A supernova is a theater of energy where various processes contribute to the radiant display. Fusion reactions can occur in the outer layers of the star as the shockwave, stemming from the collapsing core, races through the infalling stellar material. Simultaneously, the core's collapse forms a compact object known as a neutron star, unleashing a torrent of neutrinos. These nearly weightless particles can revitalize the shockwave, adding to the energy release. As the massive star bows to gravity, extreme conditions enable fusion reactions to transmute atomic nuclei, resulting in the birth of novel elements. This alchemical process is a key contributor to the universe's rich atomic diversity. And after the grand explosion, remnants remain as witnesses to the celestial drama. These remnants encompass a dense core, often evolving into a neutron star, or in certain instances, the collapse is so intense that it forges a black hole. These remnants continue to evolve, engaging with their surroundings in intricate ways. They radiate an array of electromagnetic waves and interact with nearby matter, producing complex structures that astronomers diligently investigate. Supernovae can be likened to the celestial fireworks of the universe, offering a captivating display of natural phenomena. When a supernova event occurs, various intriguing observations unfold in the night sky, illuminating the intricate processes at play. The most extraordinary supernova in history, recorded in 1006, outshone everything. It was so bright that, during the daytime, its luminance stood up against that of Venus, and at night, it cast shadows on the Earth below. People across Europe and Asia can testify to this as they were awestruck by this celestial spectacle. As a supernova matures, gamma ray heating occurs, and 40 days after the explosion, nearly all the radiation we detect from the supernova arises from this heating effect. Some gamma rays escape directly into space, bypassing any interactions with matter. In the early months following a supernova's eruption, careful observers note an increase in brightness. This increase is due to the presence of radioactive nuclei within the exploded star's remnants. However, with time these radioactive nuclei transform, decaying into stable iron, and soon, the additional illumination gradually fades away. As a massive star reaches its dramatic finale, the intense heat generated by the collapsing core triggers fusion reactions. These reactions give birth to atomic nuclei that had never existed before. The peak of a supernova event is marked by a cataclysmic explosion that unleashes an immense shockwave. This shockwave, born from the core's catastrophic collapse, shatters the star into fragments and propels them into the cosmos. Could this be the phenomenon the Betelgeuse is undergoing? Let's find out, speculations have it that the Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its celestial journey. If this is true, what process leads to its explosive finale? Betelgeuse has been burning its nuclear fuel like a giant furnace for ages. This burning creates heat and energy, pushing outward against gravity, which wants to pull the star inward. For most of its life, it's a cosmic tug of war where gravity and pressure balance each other. But the balance tips as Betelgeuse runs out of fuel and starts cooling down. But do you know that gravity wins when the star's pressure drops low enough, and the star collapses in the blink of an eye? This collapse is like a preparation for the tragedy ahead. The star's collapse triggers a supernova that tears Betelgeuse apart, sending a shockwave of energy rippling through space. During this cosmic explosion, lots of things happen. The outer layers of the star, propelled by the collapsing core's shockwave, start fusing. Elements. Subscribe to Science Lodge and see you in the next episode.